this is a quick video response to Selene. Oh, I can't pronounce your name, dude. Uh, Selene Claus video, as well as to Demaria's uh, video about dropping the rock. I just did another video recently on my channel, um, but I just saw your channel and uh, your video, and uh, I I agree with everything you said on there about forgiveness and uh, about forgiveness of self and really looking into oneself and taking responsibility of what we can take care of. My dropping the rock actually like uh, I said with my coming out video I have kind of already dropped it a little bit. <laughs> actually already dropped it. Um, my rock I had already dropped it this past year. But there's still a couple of pebbles that need to be dropped. Um, one rock that I've dropped is definitely letting go of my former teachings of me being brought up as a Jehovah's Witness. Now, another draw, another rock I may need, I have to drop is um, the fear of. Uh, the rejection that may come out if if uh, my other sides of the family do find out about my me being a, a solitary practitioner in pagan arts and uh, me just forsaking the watchtower Bible teaching Jehovah whatever they want to do it um, another rock that I'm loosening my grip on is self-loathing um, self-esteem issues don't find myself very attractive all you know all that jazz um, so my new year's resolution is uh, really just to continue on the path that I've chosen to really connect to myself spiritually into the deities that I want that that, uh, it's, that I want to connect to within my inner self so that that's that's my new year's resolution um, I'm continuing to loosen the grip on the rock with uh, one person in particular in my past that I did not get along with and that was my very own grandfather on my mother's side um, I didn't like his personality. He, uh, there were aspects of him. He treated my mom and his uh, basically he's treated his own daughters very poorly. Has done some stuff even to me. You know, a lot of the views. One story I remember him relating to me when I was very when I was young. I think around my teenage years where. He's like, well, I hope I don't have to sweep up your bones at Armageddon. And I'm like, what? I mean, there, there was it was a discussion. And he was talking to my brother and I about what would happen in the last days or during Armageddon. And about all these animals will start eating people and, you know, all that stuff. And uh, He really, he, he was the source of my anger for a long time. He, uh, you know, it, me acting out as teenagers often do, he would blame it on the music that I was listening to, had my mo made my mother throw out all my tapes and my stereos and every little things like that. He just had a very condescending attitude towards it, it in him. I never got along with him. Never, st I never talked to him. Whenever he came, you know, before the day he died, I didn't have any feelings for him. I still don't. But now, now I, I, I can actually, I can actually forgive him. He didn't have a very, as I come to find out from my family, he didn't have a very privileged life. He was abused. He was abused excessively as a child. And that abuse or that sort of iron-fisted control kind of 
rolled over. My grandmother's and my grandmother on my mom's side is also another person that is of the same like-mindedness. Um, very callous, very condescending. Condescending. She'd make you feel small. She'd be very ob objective to friends that I would bring over. Again, I was a very different, a very different from the rest of my family. I don't agree. I never agreed with any of it. But in any case, my dropping the rock is on this is taking responsibility for my own life whether they accept it or not. If they don't accept it and they want to stop talking to me, that is their loss. That still doesn't mean I'm not going to keep the door open. Um, I dropped the rock with my grandfather by, you know, forgiving and accepting that that was the life that he led. He probably didn't have a, an easy life. He probably, I feel that towards the end of his lifespan, he felt guilty of a lot of things that he had done. And and for that I, I I forgive him. And I hope that one day, you know, when we meet in another lifetime or what have you, that we will be able to share those types of, you know, experiences. Because I do believe that there is some sort of afterlife. I don't believe in the hell aspect as a lot of these people tend to, but anyway, that's another topic. But um other than that, you know, I, I, I dropped a lot of rocks. <laughs> there weren't just one rock. There were like a bag, you know, a bag of rocks. So I'll, I've been tossing rocks out. I'm still continuing to toss rocks out, but it's gotten a lot better, I would have to say. And, uh, you know, um, this year is a year of total reinvention. And so, you know, um, we've already dropped the rock of this old spiritual, spiritual path, because to me it was spiritual pollution being in the Jehovah's Witnesses. I'm going to say it as it is. It's not spiritual food. It's spiritual shit that has been filtered in my life. And I'm moving on with that. And I'm moving on to something very beautiful and meaningful. And something that I would rather serve because of what it means. Um, Demira, Steve, I think is your name. I, I can't remember if it was. And I apologize if that's the wrong name. Because I can't pronounce your screen name. You made very beautiful points. That um, we should forgive and learn to let go. And start worrying about our path because in the end your parents can't live your life can't your parents can't walk your path the people around you can't walk your path you can't make them walk your path you have to do it you have to do it and if they have an objection to it that's their that's their choice they don't have to you know as much as it'll hurt if especially if people close to you you have to live it, you know, you have to live life for yourself. Um, but yeah, that's, this is just my response video to that. Just wanted to give a little nod. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Brightest blessings. Ciao.